first off, thank you all for coming tonight. For more than 20 years, Fred Robinson has been Bowie's biggest cheerleader. Whether it's a parade, a veterans event, a retirement party, whatever it may be, he shows up. I think his, his strength was his humility. He's, uh, he's available in everything that, that uh, goes on in Bowie. I've worked with Fred over this, these last 20 years, and it's really been a pleasure. Um, he's really proud of his hometown, and he wants everyone to know it, and he is the biggest booster of the city of Bowie. Born in 1944 in Washington, D.C. to a middle-class Irish Catholic family, he's one of three siblings. He married the love of his life, Jackie, in 1968. They have four children and five grandchildren. After leaving the United States Army, Robinson joined the Prince George's Police Department and retired as a major. He served on the city council from 1986 to 1994, and in 1998, he was elected mayor. Since then, he's been elected eight times. I think he's done some just wonderful things for, for Bowie. He's matched development with, with uh, advances on recreational facilities in the city and things that the infrastructure that we really need. He had a vision of Bowie to make it a, a great city that finally he has done it. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't like a lot of things that's happened in Bowie, but the only way you can build a city uh, like Bowie is to make changes. Oh, yeah. Robinson says he's most proud of his efforts to have an independent police force in Bowie, which was established in 2006. We want to uh, to thank you. You've uh, some of you have been here from the very beginning, and uh, we are what we are today, due in large part to uh, to the support we get from the residents and from the council. Robinson says the city is thriving because of the senior center and gym. People were laughing at us, telling us. We couldn't build two projects at the same time, and we couldn't get uh, projects like this done. Well, today, we're not only dedicating this, what, 29,000 square foot building, but it's immediately adjacent to the other building that is now occupied and functional with 2,000 members of the senior center over there. If you walk into the uh, senior center today, it is the most life-sustaining, life-enjoyment facility that you can imagine in the city. Well, he'll be remembered because of all the great amenities he has helped bring to the city, and that's why I've re stayed in Bowie as a retired person, because it offers so much, and he's been helpful in bringing that over the years. Robinson is also responsible for working with others in the community to start a Memorial Day parade. I wanted to do a, start a parade, so he came to me and asked me, he says, why don't you get the Civic Affairs Committee to have a parade. I said, I'll see. So I brought it up at their, our meeting, and they said, no, we don't want to do with it. So another friend of mine named Claudio Poyani and I came off of the Civic Affairs uh, Committee and started a parade committee. And we've been on the parade committee ever since. I remember we had a lot of dis discussion about um, whether we should or whether it was wise to build a new city hall. And we talked it to death, and we came up with a lot of ideas, and finally we uh, we decided to do it. Appreciation of all of the people that have gotten us to this point, and all the people who are going to enjoy this magnificent building over the next century. Dig and move. Ready? Where's the photographer? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Yay! Yeah. He says we are the most family-friendly strongest and most diverse community in the region. And he really means that. He's all about community and about being inclusive. Bowie is a city of diversity and economic opportunity, and one that has a strong and a varied faith community. We thank the residents of Huntington in the early days and those of the 20th century that have helped grow this city. It is a marvelous place we call our hometown. I refer to Mayor Robinson as my favorite mayor, and I tell him so when I see him. I see him as a visionary and a transformational leader. He was involved in ensuring that the uh, Bowie Police Department was established. He's watched over to make sure that it had the right leadership and the right mission. If I was in a foxhole and the commies were coming at me, I'd want Fred Robinson in, my, in the foxhole with me.
because I know he'd stay there, and, and we would never uh, we would never give up. He's a pretty tough guy, uh, and, he, and a great mayor to get along with. He helped provide outstanding policies and procedures for us. In particular, he, he helped us pass three outstanding budgets that gave us an opportunity to do our job. He always says that every day is a holiday in Bowie, and every meal is a feast. And, you know, these aren't just Fredisms, something that he says. These are things that he truly believes in. He loves the city, and he wants everyone else to know about it and love it as much as he does. Throughout our history, Bowie has been one of Bowie's strongest assets has been the deep roots that the people had in this community and their willingness to improve it for future generations. You can see this when young families grew up here, married, and decided to raise their kids in the community that nurtured them. Our challenge is to convince a new generation of people that Bowie remains a great place to live, a great real estate investment, a great community in which to raise a family, and a particularly great base to do business. And recently, like he was surprised the with this honor. City of Bowie, Veteran of the Year, to Mayor G. Fred Robinson, City <laughs> of Bowie, Veteran of the Year for 2019. There are young men and women serving in military forces in the United States all over the world. And a bunch of them are serving in harm's way. So give them a thought, give them a prayer, and hopefully that they'll get home safe and soon. We salute you for your service to our city. And as you move forward, remember, you done good.